These propellers are something called toroidal propellers. They're designed by MIT, and in today's video, we're going to test them out with sound, efficiency, and I want to say stability is the right word, because I think that's also important. Um, especially if, you know, you have some props that are, I want to say, very shaky in the air, they cause a lot of disturbance, uh, they're not too fun to fly with. So in today's video, we're going to test all that out, and test out a couple other features too. I'm going to give you all my observations that I notice about these, so let's get started. So the first thing I should probably talk about is how I actually ended up making these. So there's a long process, and I'll go through some of it in brief steps, but the main reason is I had to actually design these from scratch. There are no models online available. And then I went through and 3D printed them. Um, I 3D printed them in the most newest filament that I had, so it should be the most, uh, I want to say, less least damp to prevent as much bubbling as possible. Um, I also went through afterwards and did a couple more steps. So the next step I did was something called annealing, and annealing basically uh, is a process of like heating up a 3D filament, and it basically means that the filament will kind of half melt and then re-solidify and be a lot more stronger. It's a process that we use to make strong 3D prints, and so I use a hairdryer for this. I don't have a really fancy tool or anything. And then also after which I had to also go through and get rid of a lot of these layer lines. And I mean, I don't really care if they're visible, but they have to also prevent air from flowing over them and causing a lot of disturbances there. So I went through and also did a whole couple layers of nail polish on here to prevent them from kind of, I want to say collecting air. So um, for the test today, we have, of course, the efficiency test, which I want to just do like a standard like battery flight test. Um, and see kind of like how long this flies for. Also, I want to do like a handling test to see how well it handles. Um, I'm going to also point out some caveats later on in the video about that because this is kind of a stock drone that I can't modify too much with. Um, and then also uh, we'll go through and talk about the noise and we'll do a really in-depth noise comparison as well. So in order to get started, we also have to have a baseline. So the baseline for today is just going to be going through and taking the stock uh, three blade drone props from DJI for the FPV and uh, giving those a shot. Also, I chose to use this drone because of the fact that it was a, the only FPV drone that I had, and also the motors had a direct screw mount. Um, I could have used like a Mavic or something like that, but then I would have to design something that I felt was to be a little bit more iffy and a lot more breakage points potentially. So safety-wise, of course, you're gonna have maybe a little bit better safety. If these were designed a little bit better, be curved down the edges, you could get lacerated as bad. Stability-wise, these are a lot more I want to say unstable because the drone's having to work a lot harder. Um, as I said, it just feels like, why would you bother putting these on your drone if you're going to lose a lot of flight time when I think the most valuable selling point to customers is not a low pitched prop noise for like half the flight time. It looks cool as heck. Like I, I'm not, I don't think anyone's going to argue with you that that doesn't look cool. Um, it's just the, the, the noise doesn't seem to cut it for the efficiency loss that at least I'm seeing personally. So there's a lot of things you could attribute this efficiency loss to. Um, the main one, of course, being that, you know, you're looking at these props that are, of course, a th two prop design, even though the lifting surface is probably equivalent. Um, I just seeing, you know, efficiency not being the best. Of course, with my testing, I went back, tested it with a warm battery, got similar results. I would say that these are just not something I would trade for the efficiency that I would be losing. Um, being able to fly the drone for an additional like 10 minutes, for, you know, this only has like a flight time of like 17 minutes. You're only getting like seven minutes of flight time with this. Why would you trade 10 minutes of flight time for 10% less noisiness? As I said, there's a lot of factors in here. I don't have the same design. Um, this is 3D printed. Uh, I did my best to test it, but still this is of course very bumpy, has lots of eddies, things like that. So you're looking at, of course, a whole bunch of unknowns that could be the reason why I'm not seeing huge efficiency gains. Is it sounding different? Of course, it sounds very different. Here we go. Heck out of here, holy crap. Yeah, y'all should subscribe. Ready boys? Here we go. Here's what it sounds like.
the noise, the high pitch especially. You notice the substantial less high pitch on these. Is it something that I would consider worth it? No, I got some weirdo strangers pulling up in here. I would not recommend these currently just because the efficiency trade-off that at least I saw was substantial. Now, I did a pretty good job like covering these in nail polish. These did get beat up already pretty bad um, just from like grass and stuff like that. 3D, you know, the filament is not the, what is it, PTAG or whatever, is not the strongest. But overall, I think that's pretty solid, um, a solid test at least. And I want to end once again by saying that these are not the exact design that they use in their testing. Um, this is 3D printed parts and that my results don't necessarily mean that whatever MIT got is anywhere equivalent. I mean, I used the same rough shape as much as I could tell. I tried to design it similar. You're looking at also a difference between injection molded parts that doesn't have all these ridges that, you know, the air has to flow over. And you're looking at something that is a replica of the design. I would still think that like the sound probably is very similar. I think the efficiency might be very similar as well. That's probably the most iffy thing I'm on because I saw really abysmal results. Um, also, you're looking at the cold temperatures like 26 out right now. I'm sitting here freezing in the cold for you guys. You guys better subscribe.